Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, ancient of days, the mighty man in battle. We have come before you, O God, to glorify you, to lift our two hands in worship, in adoration to you, O God, because you are worthy, O God. Be glorified tonight. Be glorified tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we are calling upon your blood, yes, that mighty blood that you shed on the cross of Calvary to come down upon your children, to come and touch us tonight in the name of Jesus. Let the power of your blood descend, O God. Father, come and have your way tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Lord and my Father. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Papa. Oh, Jesus. Come and touch us now in the name of Jesus. We're inviting God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit to come down and be with us tonight in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my Father, we know that you are here already. Holy Father, come and be with us. Come and have mercy in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on us, O God. Wash us that we shall be water and snow. Take not away from all the gift of your Holy Spirit, but to restore unto all the joy of your salvation. In the name of Jesus. Father, every way that we have offended you, by our thoughts, by our actions, by our inactions, Holy Father, we plead with you to have mercy. Even the things we have done that we took your glory, Father, we are asking for mercy. Father, be merciful to us. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 143 verse 2b says, In thy sight shall no man be justified. In thy sight shall no man be justified. Father, O oh Lord, O oh Jesus, even our righteousness is like a dirty rag before you. Father, come and be merciful to us. Come and show us mercy, O oh Lord. Have mercy on us, O oh God, Papa. For who can show mercy if not you? Holy Father, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy, O oh Lord. Jesus. Father, you told us to ask that when we ask, we shall receive. Father, having asked for forgiveness of sins, we are confident that we have received even the forgiveness of sins from you. Because we know that you are faithful God. You are mighty God. In Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 13, Father, you are the one that told us that if we are if 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 we are unfaithful, that you still remain faithful. <laughs> For you cannot deny who you are. You cannot deny yourself, O oh Lord. Father, be merciful to us. Even when we are unfaithful, Father, you have always been generous to us. Psalm 30 verse 8 says, To you, Lord, I called. To you, O oh Lord, I cried for mercy. Father, we cried to mercy. We cried to you for mercy. Be merciful, O oh Lord. Father, have mercy to the glory of your name. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Agent of death, thank you. Mighty man in battle, thank you. Oh, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Because we know that you have shown mercy. You have forgiven your people. Father, we thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Daddy, we thank you. Mighty God of Israel, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, we thank you. For you have forgiven us our sins. That's why we are rejoicing. For the Bible says, Blessed is he whose sins are blotted out. Father, thank you that you have shown mercy to us tonight. Holy Father, we thank you. Oh, Jesus. Papa, thank you. Yes, don't begin to thank him. Appreciate him, appreciate him. Yes, my Lord. Papa, we thank you. You are the King of Kings. Yes, my Lord. Without you, oh Lord, there is no hope for us. Thank you for forgiving us our sins. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, our Father. Hey, Jesus. As Apostle chapter 4, verse 12 says, There is no other name under heaven given to men by which they must be saved. It is not this name of Jesus. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10 says, The name of the Lord is a strong power. The righteous will run to that name and be saved. So, my people of God, we are running to the name of Jesus. The way our protection will come. We are running to him now. Papa and Mama, everyone is running to them now. Even my spouse, we are running to that place now. A place of safety. Where sins are forgiven. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. For we know that you are God, who is generous to forgive the sins of your people. Father, we thank you. My chapter 7, verse 19. And the Bible says, God will tread our sins on the foot, and will haul all our iniquities into the depths of the sea. 
Why? Because I just want to remember them again. Isaiah 43, verse 25, and his, that Bible says, I, even I, I am the Lord. I am the Lord who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will remember them no more. I will remember them no more. My brothers and sisters, are you hearing the good news? That God has no plan to remember that sin again. Oh, Jesus. What a generous God you are. The mighty man in battle. The man of Calvary. Father, we glorify you. Thank you, my Lord, my Father. Oh, Jesus. In my chapter 12, the Bible says that our Lord is a mighty ruler over Israel, whose origin are from the old, from the ancient times. He, that's why we call him the ancient of days. Hey, the God of mercy, blessed be your name, Papa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you because we know you have forgiven us. And at this point in time, we have every confidence to approach the throne of grace that the Lord has given us an invitation in Hebrews 4, verse 16. Yes, he gave us that invitation to come and receive grace in a time of need. Father, this is a time of need. We need you now, oh God. Come and manifest your power. Come and manifest your power. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Even this night, oh God, let your power begin to flow. Let your anointing begin to flow. We are inviting the angels of God. Let them begin to come down. Yes, my Lord. Angels of miracles. Angels that make people to repent. The Holy Spirit, we need you tonight. Come down and take over. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Matthew chapter 18, verse 18 to 19. Truly, I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly I tell you, that if two of you on earth agree on anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. My brothers and sisters, have you heard it? Oh, Jesus, with this very declaration of the scripture, I have, therefore, have every confidence to enter into the spiritual realm now and begin to bind every powers of the sea, every marine power, every queen of the coast, the most with their heads, the most with one million legs. Oh, without they are now, we bind them now in the name of Jesus. For the Bible tells me, as we bind them on earth, so shall it be confirmed in heaven, so shall it be validated in heaven. Therefore now, I command every power that want to militate against this meeting, let them receive what it goes, fire! Hey, <laughs> Jesus! Aha! The power of God is moving now. Oh, no, Baba! Ba. The power of Jesus! Come down, come down! Manifest your power! Yes, my Lord, come and manifest your power in the name of Jesus, my Lord and my Father. Your word says, Matthew 18, verse 19, Truly I tell you, if two of you agree on anything, they ask for, it will done for them. Father, this night, we agree that it is well with us. Oh, we agree that it is well with us. Yes, Lord, because in Isaiah 3, verse 10, your word says, Tell the righteous that it is well with him. Therefore, tonight, I decree in agreement with the restraint in heaven and with men of good will on earth that it is well with all tonight. In the name of Jesus, we also decree and also in agreement with the Job, chapter 31, verse 22, where the Bible says that there is no hiding place for the wicked. So, this night, hey, hey, anywhere the enemies are hiding, even if they are hiding the rocks, Ah, let the power of God fish them out and destroy them. For the Bible says in Amos chapter 9 verse 9, though they hide themselves on the top of the canet, on the top of the mountain, on the beneath the rocks, the Lord said, there, I the Lord will hunt them down and I will seize them. Father, seize them tonight. Every militant agent, every red spirit that I will not find to monitor your people, to attack your people. Father, tonight, hunt them down. Promise your people, touch your people, deliver your people. In the name of Jesus, anywhere they are hiding, oh, Jesus, even if they are hiding the sea, let them see it boil. Let them see it boil. In the name of Jesus, oh, Jesus. Jeremiah 23, verse 24, and the Bible says, Who can hide in the secret place so that I cannot see them? <laughs> Who? Who can hide in the secret place so that I, the Lord, cannot see them? <laughs> oh. And what is saying in Amos 9, verse 9, is that even when they hide in the planet, in the rocks, the Lord said, I will hold.
hunt them down. <laughs> this is Job chapter 34 verse 22 said there is no hiding place for the wicked. Therefore, every college of demons, <laughs> school of demons, covers of witches and wizards, department of demons, anywhere they are, no matter their names and nomenclatures, we are commanding their constitutions and institutions to begin to shake, to begin to cast fire, and to burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, let them burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, let their territories begin to receive fire, begin to destroy now. In the name of Jesus, spirits that are behind bad dreams, we command you now. In the name of Jesus, burn by fire. Yala Baba, Jesus. And the Bible says, Isaiah chapter 46 verse 4, Even I will carry you. I will carry you on my hand, and I will deliver you. That's the promise of love for somebody. Claim it now. The Lord will carry me. <laughs> the Lord will carry me. He will carry me on his hand to a place of safety. He will carry me now to a place of glory, to my mountain top, to my mountain of testimony. In the name of Jesus. And he's watching me to see that I will come to that mountain. He's not going to leave me alone. He's not going to leave me. Psalm 17 verse 10 says, I am the apple of his eyes. Jeremiah 117 says, I am watching to see that the word is fulfilled. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Lord and my Father. Bless everyone, Papa. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It is well with us tonight. In the name of Jesus. Oh, La Kandara Bashikia. My Lord and my Father, even now that you are getting into reflecting your word, let the power that is in your word penetrate into us with the divine osmosis and diffusion diffuse into our blood vessels, diffuse into our hemoglobin, diffuse into our innermost being. Yes, my Lord. Let your anointing, your power, yes, infuse into us, O Lord. Father, let your word, your word, penetrate into us. We know that your word is sweeter than honey. Psalm 119, verse 1 of us says, How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Oh, Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, now I see what is sweeter than honey. I used to think that honey is sweetest. Now I know that the word of God is sweeter than honey. Father, oh Lord, now I open my mouth to receive that word. Not only to receive the word, but to chew it. Not only to chew it, but to swallow the word of God. Oh, and the word of God will dominate in me. Will dominate in me. And it bear good fruit in me. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Bless every your name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we ask you to open the windows of heaven and give us amazing inspiration for your word this night. For we know that your word giveth understanding. Therefore, speak to us, O Lord. Every carnal inclinations tonight, we hold them captive in the name of Jesus. Let the power, the Holy Spirit, penetrate into us and write the word of God in us. In the name of Jesus, let him interpret and let him inspire. In the name of Jesus, thank you, amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My brothers and sisters, we are going to reflect tonight on Genesis chapter 21, Genesis chapter 21, verse 8 through 21. And I'm reading from English Standard Version. And the, the child grew. And it was wind. And Abraham made a great feast on the day that Isaac was wind. But Sarah, Sarah saw, the, saw the son of Hagar 
the Egyptian, whom she had born to Abraham, laughing. So she said to Abraham, Cast out this slave woman with her son. Yes, for the son of this slave woman shall not be the heir with my son Isaac. And the thing was very displeasing to Abraham on account of his son. But God said to Abraham, Be not displeased because the boy and because of your slave woman. Whatever Sarah says to you, do as she tells you. For through Isaac shall your offspring be named. And I will make a nation of the son of the slave woman also. But he is your offspring because he is your offspring. Verse 14. So Abraham rose early in the morning and took bread and a skin of water and gave it to Hagar, putting it on her shoulder along with the child and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Bethsheba. When the water in the skin was gone, she put the child under one of the bushes. Then she went out and sat down opposite him a good way off, about the distance of a bow shot. For she said, Let me not look on the death of my child. And she sat opposite him. She lifted up her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the boy. And the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven and said to her, What troubles you, Hagar? Fear not, for the God has heard the voice of the boy where he is. Up, lift up the boy, and hold him fast with your hand, for I will make him into a great nation. Then God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. And she went and filled the skin with the water, and gave the boy a drink. And God was with the boy, and he grew up. He lived in the wilderness, and he became an expert with the bow. He lived in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother took a wife for him from the land of Egypt. And this is the word of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, this was the story of Abraham, of Hagar, and of Ishmael. Hagar gave birth to a child called Ishmael. And this was an idea that Sarah sold to the husband, Abraham, since child, children or child was not coming forth, and so she now brought this idea for Abraham to sleep with the slave girl, the Egyptian girl, on which Abraham concurred, and then this slave girl gave birth to a child called Ishmael. Now, at the point of this story, Isaac had come into the family, and uh, Isaac was growing up. But an event came up in which Sarah was not happy with the Egyptian lady. So what she did was to discuss with Abraham to take out, in fact, to divorce Hagar, which he did. Now, the, this, the, the reflection of this night is based on what happened to Hagar in the desert. Now, Abraham gave her only a skin bag of water. And uh, she went into the wilderness, going to a land of a land she doesn't know. She was just wandering with her baby. But there was a time that the water finished. And uh, this child was crying, crying. She, what he needed was just water. But how could the mother give water when there was no water inside? It was a desert. So, Hagar knew that this would 
mean the death of her child. But she didn't want to carry her child on her palms and see her child die on her own palms, on her hands. So what she did was to keep the child somewhere and then left to somewhere, a good distance apart, where she wouldn't hear the, the cry of the baby again. She wouldn't like to hear the baby crying to death. She preferred the baby to die and then only for her to see the bones of the baby. And so as this baby was crying, and also, Hagar was in pain. Hagar was in anguish. Behold, in that state of tragedy, in that state of hopelessness, the voice of God came to Hagar and said to Hagar that God has heard her. That God is now with her. That God is going to open doors for her. That God has provided that water. <laughs> Remember, she wanted to get water. The angel was asking her a question. Hagar, what troubles you? What is your trouble? Why are you crying? I mean, it seems to me that this is the question that God is asking somebody tonight. Why are you crying? What is troubling you? That was the same statement that was made to Hagar. And the angel told Hagar, fear not. And God is telling her tonight, fear not. Hagar was in the desert. Hagar was in a land without water. It, that land was a barren land. A waste land. A waste land. A land of hopelessness. A land of desolation. If you are looking for water, you don't go to the desert. If you are looking for food, you don't go to the desert. If you are looking for life, you don't go to the desert. The desert is devoid of trees, of life. That was where this woman and the child were. Oh, Jesus. But God sent an angel. And Hagar heard the voice of God. <laughs> Jesus. And look at what the angel told Hagar. He said, for God has heard the voice of the boy. You see that? He said, lift up the boy. Go and pick up your boy. Hold him fast with your hand, for I will make him a great nation. I want to take note of Isaiah, or Genesis chapter 21, verse 19 and 19. And the Bible says, Then God opened her eyes. Who is the her? Hagar. God opened the eyes of Hagar, and she saw a well of water. And she went and filled her skin with the water and gave to the boy to drink. My brothers and sisters, at this point, the boy stopped crying. Life came back to the mother and to the son. Things came back. Normalcy came back. And God was with the boy, and the boy grew. There is a lesson here tonight, my brothers and sisters. That even in our desolation, God will not despise us. Even though that this was a woman that was rejected, but yet God did not reject her. In that crisis, in that situation, in that despondence, God showed up. You see, let me tell you, you may be in your own desert like Hagar. You may be in your own wasteland, a land of hopelessness, of desolation. Just like Hagar. But I tell you tonight, God is going to hear you. God is going to answer you. God is going to speak to you tonight. God is going to tell you, fear not. In the time of Hagar, it was the situation of the son, Ishmael, that was her concern. She was in crisis because of the situation of the son. I don't know, maybe your own life is in crisis because of the situation of your child, because of the situation of your daughter. Because of the situation of your son. Maybe that is why you are crying. But I'm praying and calling upon God tonight. Let him bring that message to you tonight. As he brought that message of comfort to Hagar. I am asking the Lord tonight. Let him bring that same message to you. Maybe your child is suffering from autism. Oh, Jesus. And all this while, you have lost joy. Because of what autism has done to your child. Maybe... Your child is, is lame, is dumb, or is blind. And because
because of that, you have lost joy. Nothing pleases you again. You are now in the desert. And even your joy has gone. Your finances to support a child is fading away. Just like the water in the, in the white skin fading away. And the child of Hagar, otherwise called Ishmael, was crying and crying. But I tell you tonight, the Lord Almighty, who answered Hagar in that situation, he will answer you tonight. My brother, the Lord will answer you. I said the Lord will answer you. In the name of Jesus, no matter what they are passing through, no matter the situation, in that situation, in that your desert, in that your Gethsemane, the Lord will see you through. The Lord will hear your voice. I say we hear your voice. In the name of Jesus. I say we hear your voice. That child will not die. As God said the life of, of Ishmael. And said the life of the mother. In that situation. I am calling upon him tonight. Let him come and save you. Let him come and save your son. Maybe your son is very rebellious. Maybe your son is in trouble. I am praying tonight. Let God arise. And a fight for your family. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 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 Let the Lord arise. And fight for your for now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now let me tell you something. The, in the Quran, in the Quran, do you know that the soul of Ishmael Abraham and Sarah. The same story we read today. They have their own version of that story. In the two versions, there is an agreement that the water finished the desert. <laughs> there was an agreement that that Hagar was crying. There was an agreement that she left Ishmael to die and not for her to see the child die. You see that? <laughs> oh. Now, in their own account, in the Quran account, they believed that while the boy was crying, shaking his legs in agony, that as they were doing that, the legs was able to open the ground and the water started to spring forth. Now, they believe that this happened somewhere around Saudi Arabia. And there is a water there. There is a fountain there, which is called Zamzam. <laughs> Zamzam. Now, there is this well of Zamzam that they go there and drink. During their pilgrimage, they go there and drink because they believe that their forefather, which happened to be Ishmael, that he was the one that dug the well for them. But let me tell you tonight. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The well, the well came out. The spring came out. That water came out by miraculous intervention of God. God made that spring to come out in the desert. Where there was no river, God made that river to come out. God created that river overnight. He made Hagar to hear the voice of the stream. And she went there, not finding a cup of water, but an ocean of water. God gave her more than what she required. God gave her surplus. She drank and drank and drank and was satisfied. And gave her son. And they drank and drank and they were satisfied. Jesus. My brothers and sisters. Oh, I don't know whether you know that in that your situation, that God is beginning a solution. That God is beginning a solution. As he brought that water to be a solution to the test of Sarah, of uh, Agar, and the Ishmael, in that situation, in that barren land, I am praying tonight that God will also bring your own water, that he will bring your own stream, your own fountain, in that desert, where there is no well, the Lord will make a well. Where there is no water, the Lord will make a water. The Bible says, oh Jesus, in Isaiah chapter 51 verse 3, he said, oh Zion, I will make a fountain of water in your wasteland. In your desert, I will make a fountain of water. I will make your fountain. I will make your desert like a garden of Eden. <laughs> where there shall be melody. Where there shall be jubilation. Where there shall be joy. Oh, Jesus. 
If in that your situation, the Lord will bring good news. The Lord will bring solution. The Lord will bring the water. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will answer you. You are crying today, but the Lord will answer you. In the name of Jesus, he will bring the water for you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. So, while Ishmael was in the desert, dying of thirst, it was water from a well. It was water the God made in the desert that saved the life of Ishmael. Whatever thing that God will bring to save your life in this present predicament, in this situation you are passing through, that thing is your own water. <laughs> that is meant to save your life. Jesus. Let me tell you, the name Ishmael means God hears. God hears. So what it means is that God hears his people in a time of crisis, in a time of desolation. God was faithful to respond to the cry of Ishmael's heart. God was faithful to hear the cry of this little boy in a lonely land, in a land of deserts, in that wilderness. God heard the voice of the little boy. <laughs> you see, let me tell you something. God is also faithful to hear the cry of your own heart tonight. He is faithful to hear your own cry, the cry of your heart, to know the truth and to experience the life of Jesus. You may be spiritually thirsty for the living water in what may seem like a desert-like place in your life. But God will bring a water solution. God will quench that test in the name of Jesus. God will provide solution. <laughs> it's ours. Yes, Lord. In the time of Ishmael, in the time of Hagar, they needed water. They were testing. Physically, they were testing. They needed a physical water. But tonight, God is calling you and me. He said, my people, you need spiritual testing. You need the living water. Oh, Jesus, the living water. That is the water of Jesus. That is Jesus himself. He is the living water. God desires to open our eyes to show us the well of the living water. Well, he opened the eyes of Haga, and Haga saw the well and saw the stream. I am praying tonight, oh Lord Almighty, open my eyes, open my eyes, and show me the well of the living water, which is Jesus, which is Jesus. Open your heart and pray a prayer. Come upon Jesus. Ask him to open your eyes. Jesus, my Lord and my Father, open my eyes to see the living water. You open the eyes of Haga, and she saw the living water. She saw the water, the water in the desert. Even in my own time, Father, open my eyes. Open my eyes to see the living water, the water of life. Open your heart and pray. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I want to know Jesus. I want to know Jesus so that I can know the Father. For no one can know the Father except if the Father is revealed to him by Jesus. So pray now. Let the living water be revealed to you. Let the water of life be revealed to you. Let the divine mercy be revealed to you. Jesus. Let him touch me. Papa, touch me. Papa, touch me. I want to desire you. I want to desire you. Open my eyes and show me the world of salvation. And show me the world of water. The living water. Come and satisfy my test. Open the water blood prayer. Call upon Jesus. Call upon Jesus. Pray now, pray now, pray now. Jesus. Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Oh, oh. Yakandaraba. Pray, 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 pray. Call upon his name now. Call upon his name now. Call upon his name now. He will answer you as you call on his name. He will answer you. Jesus. Jesus. Call on him. Call on him. Ask him to open your eyes. Every scale. Every black plank covering my eyes so that I cannot see the living water. So that I cannot see the solution to my problem. Hey, Jesus, remove those things. Remove the plank that are in my eyes. Remove the debris that are in my eyes. Remove them now. Remove the blindness that 
they touch me. Look at him moving now. Look at the stream moving. Look at the stream moving. Look at the stream moving. This is not another stream. This is the living of life. This is the life of Jesus. This is Israel himself. The living water. The living water. He's moving now. He's moving now. Like under the Baba. Open your heart. Let the living water enter to your heart. Let the living water enter to your life. Let the living water enter to your family. Come upon him now. Revelation to the three, verse 20. And the Bible says, I am knocking at the door of your heart. Whosoever asks me to come in, I will come in. Oh, Jesus, let the river flow into my life. Let the river flow into my family. Flow into my life. Into my children. Into my business. It's us. Pray, 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 pray. Come upon the living water. Come upon the living water. The water of Jesus. The water of Jesus. Come upon the living water. Come upon him now. Come upon him now. And the Bible says, Romans chapter 10, verse 13. It says, Whosoever shall come upon the name of the Lord shall be saved now. Are you going to call on him? Are you going to call on him? Come upon Jesus. Come upon Jesus. Come upon Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Of this 
life-giving water. So people that are looking for Jesus, who are looking for that water, they will come to you, and then from you, the water will flow upon them and into their lives. <laughs> it's ours. So that is what happens if, for example, somebody is having the gift of singing. Somebody, is having a, somebody has the gift of singing, and the person is singing, and you see people receiving a treatment of soul. Why? It's because they become the channel through which the power of God will flow into your life. So give it that peace. If there is someone that has the gift of deliverance or the gift of healing, it's not that person that heals. That person is only a channel. <laughs> there becomes a channel through which the healing water, the water of life, will flow upon people. Now, at one of the festivals of celebration that Jesus attended, he was there, and Jesus got the attention of the crowd when he shouted in a loud voice, and he said, and I want to quote John chapter 7, verse 37 to 38. On the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone tests, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture says, out of his heart will flow the rivers of the living water. Period. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Have you heard it? Um, Festival was going on. People were drinking. People were drinking. Having many men. And then Jesus, he just cried out in a loud voice. And caught the attention of the people. And he said, if anyone is thirsty, and the people started looking at him. He said, let him come to me and drink. <laughs> and people said, eh? And then he continues, verse 38. He who believes in me, <laughs> out of their belly, out of their hearts, will flow the rivers of the living water. In other words, they will become channels of the living water. John chapter 15, verse 1 says, I am the true vine. But you know what? In John chapter 15, verse 5, Jesus now uses his own mouth to say, and you are the branches. If you cut yourself off from me, you will dry up. Us. Us. So tonight, God is calling on us. God is calling out to us. And he's saying, my people, be connected to me. Be my channel through which I will touch people. Through which my power will flow. <laughs> it's us. Many of us will get married. They don't know that it's not just going there to produce children. That God has brought you there maybe to become a channel through which you will save the family you are married to. You see that? Or to save the life of your husband. You don't know your, that is your ministry. <laughs> it's us. So tonight, Jesus is inviting you and inviting me, all of us. The same way he called the attention of the people in that festival of celebration, and the same way he's crying out in a loud voice tonight, and he said, my people, come to me, all you who are thirsty. <laughs> all you who are thirsty. Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Jesus, the Lord is inviting you. Jesus is inviting those of us who are spiritually tested to come and believe in him so that he can quench our test with truth and our hearts will be like a river flowing from God. Is that not good? A river flowing from God. When you come to know Jesus, you become a brand new creation, 
a special person. In fact, a species that never existed before. That is what will become automatically when we give our lives to Christ. You become a new creation, a brand new person. You see, let me tell you, you, re you literally become a brand new person with a new life, with a new DNA. <laughs> In instantly, spiritually speaking, your own DNA becomes the DNA of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You are spirit man because reborn by the breath of God. You see that? So we're talking about born again. We're talking about salvation. It goes beyond forgiveness of sins. It goes beyond that. It's also a complete change of identity. You see that? Your, your identity changes completely in the spiritual realm. You just begin to do the things that God desires. You begin to love what God desires. Now, before the transformation, your life is controlled by the flesh. You do things in the flesh. You like things of the world so much. You like to party with evil people. You do certain horrible things, and they're okay with you. You don't care about the scripture. You don't care about the word of God. You don't care about the peace of God. Okay? Now, but when you become a born again, when you begin to live your life in the spirit, then you become a new creation. You become a new person. Your ID card changes. And you become a spiritual person. You become the, the reflection of Jesus. The mirror of Jesus. You see that? You, you, you change. Your identity changes. Your spiritual DNA changes. And Jesus impacts into you his own identity, his own DNA. He's <laughs> ours. Oh, so God imparts his own nature to us when we give our life to Christ. He's ours. Now, and he takes us to a place of his blessings. His own righteousness begin to take place and grow in our own heart. He will give us his righteousness so that the righteousness we have become the righteousness of Christ. That was what St. Paul was talking about. <laughs> Jesus. This is what it means to know Jesus. It's not just knowing the spelling of Jesus. No, 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 no. We're talking about knowing him. All right? Many of us, we find it very easy to say, oh, I'm a Christian. And once you're not a Muslim, you're a Christian. Or you become a Hindu, whatever. You, you then you have free form, official forms, and then you come to where you have to identify your, your religion, and you say Christianity. No, 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 that's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> you hear that? Christianity is not just a matter of the fact that if you're not any other religions, then you are a Christian. No. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Christianity is the life of Christ. In fact, let me tell you, in the book of Acts Apostles, it, people call the apostles, the believers, Christians, because of the life they were living. They were called Christians because they were living a life like Christ. So a Christian is someone who is like Christ. It's not enough to say I'm a Christian. What life am I living? Am I a channel of the water to flow? If you're a channel of the water to flow, then you're a Christian. <laughs> Jesus. Christianity, okay, is the exchange of your old sinful nature for a brand new nature to Christ Jesus. <laughs> that is God's nature in you. God's nature in us. God's nature taking residence on the inside of you. And a process of change begins in our life from the inside out. You see that? So many people think, oh, before I give my life to Christ, let me try to clean myself up. <laughs> let me go and clean myself up. You start to do things you think they are good. That is self-righteousness because you want to clean yourself up. You want to stop certain things you do or in the flesh because you want to clean yourself up. <laughs> Jesus. But that is not it. That is not it. You don't clean yourself up and then go to Christ. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's where people miss it. You go to Christ to clean you up. He 
will change your diaper. He will wash you. He will dress you up and give you a new robe. Then you become a changed person. A new person. You see that? So if you are struggling to change yourself, you think you are going to do that? I have not seen any man changing his life. I have not seen that. Sometime last year, a sister gave a testimony to line how she was always, you know, having problems with the husband because the husband is a chronic, a chronic drunkard. You know, a drunkard is already a chronic person. But I use the word chronic drunkard to tell you that that's a serious matter. That day she said, my husband drinks to stupor. <laughs> that, that was the word she used, stupor. Okay? But, you know, at the time she just gave up. Then she came to, came to the prayer line. I started praying. She joined us to pray. She joined us to pray to God. She said, God, save my husband. What well, year her testimony is that day? That in the presence of bottles of alcohol everywhere, where his friends were drinking to stupor, this man didn't even test, not even sipping one. And he says, we're asking, what is that? Are you okay? What's happening? It happened first, second time. The, his friends had to go and talk to the wife. I said, what has happened to your husband? He can't drink again. You know what? Because God has come in. This man may have wanted to change his life. The, the wife wanted to change the husband, but failed. Failed and failed. For years of the marriage, she failed in doing that. But just a night in this prayer line changed the story. <laughs> the man was changed. They are the power of Jesus. We even last Saturday we hear the similar test on the prayer line. A sister that had been she could not even afford to to sleep without drinking and drinking and drinking herself to to dizziness. Then at that point she didn't get to sleep. This had been her life for a long time. After praying with brother brother, and then God, I pray for her, for her to be delivered, and cast the spirit away. And then the first night after her prayer, she slept, slept, and woke up normally, like a human being. <laughs> and then she, she didn't take alcohol. The second day, the same thing. Out of excitement, she came and gave testimony. Because God changed her. What she could not do for herself, God did it for her. You see, you cannot change yourself, but God can do that. God can change you. Maybe you are struggling to overcome drug. Maybe you are struggling to overcome smoking. To, you are struggling to overcome what have bad habit or other. I don't know what you are struggling, but let me tell you this night, that God has brought you this night to tell you that he's going to change you. That he's going to change you. He's going to make you a new person. He's going to give you a brand new heart. Maybe your heart is the heart of unforgiveness. You struggle with unforgiveness. People will do you little things. You carry them in your mind for 20 years. You, for, you don't forgive again. You struggle to forgive. But once you see an advert on television that looks like the person that offended you, you become full of resentment. Tonight, God is telling you, <laughs> you cannot do it yourself. He's going to do it for you. He will change you. He's ours. Yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. So ask Jesus tonight to change you. That living water, that living water is going to change you. I'm not talking about the, the water that is at Samsam. The one that will go there and uh, drink and they think that that is the living water. No, 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 no. I am talking about the living water of John chapter 7, verse 7, of Revelation chapter 22, verse 1 to 2, of Ezekiel chapter 47, verse 1 to 12, that is the living water I'm talking about. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is that living water. Brothers and sisters, do you need that water? Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? The Bible says, Psalm 42, verse 1 to 2. Oh, Jesus. As the deer pants for the streams of water, so shall my soul pant for you, O Lord. Oh, Jesus. Is your soul panting for the Lord? Are you... Are you desiring him? Oh, therefore tonight, let that living water flow into your life and give you a brand new heart, a new heart, Jesus. People that are finding it difficult to forgive this night, I am calling upon Jesus. Let him do a surgery, a hospital surgery in your heart. 
Let him remove the old heart and put a new heart. Let him remove the heart of unforgiveness and put a new engine, a new engine in your heart, a new heart, Jesus' heart, a heart transplant, a heart transplant. Let it take place now. Jesus, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. The power is coming now. The power is coming now. More coming now. Or maybe you have an anger issue. You are struggling with anger. Every time you are, you are full of anger. Just very explosive. Little things make it explode. Oh, Jesus. But I'm pretty tonight. Let it be water. The living water. The living water. I am the Rabba Kandaya. The blood of Jesus. Let him approach every spirit of resentment, spirit of bitterness, spirit of rancor. Come out from the people of God. Come out and go to the rubbish. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Ha <laughs> Jesus. Jeremiah chapter 8, that, that, that 8 verse 32 defines our Lord as the balm of Gilead. The balm of Gilead. Hey. Woo! Our physician is going to do that that heart transplant tonight. Even people, people that have a heart problem, this is an opportunity for you to get healed. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. The living water is flowing to your heart. Heart transplant, my Lord and my Father. I need before you. Oh, let the living water, the living water, flow from your sanctuary and flow into the hearts of your people. So that those who are having heart problems who receive healing now. People that are having irregular palpitations of the heart. Let them receive healing. Let them receive healing. Let them receive healing. The hour has come. Receive that healing now. Yes, 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 yes. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. The living water is coming. The living water is coming. He's coming to change you. He's coming to transform you. Get ready to receive him now. Get ready to receive him now. Get ready to receive him now. Take it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we are Kandara Bakia. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The power is moving now. The blood of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. I am calling upon the water. Let the water of Jesus penetrate into your bloodstream. Those whose bloodstreams have been infected with AIDS, with HIV. Oh, Jesus. Let the living water flow into your bloodstream and heal you in the name of Jesus. I command every blood infected with HIV in the name of Jesus. Receive healing. Power. <laughs> Receive the healing now. Receive the healing now. You are going to laugh. You are going to laugh at that HIV. You are going to laugh at that autism in your blood system. You are going to laugh at that despair in your life. I command that spirit of despair to be lifted up in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And the Bible says, Job chapter 8, verse 31, he will yet fill your mouth with laughter. <laughs> and your lips with a shout of joy. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Something that will make me to rejoice is coming. Something that will make me to be joyful is coming my way. He's coming your way. Job chapter 5, verse 22. And the Bible says, you will laugh at the destruction, at the famine, and you need not fear. Any one animal. Do you hear that now? You're not going to fear that HIV. I will not hear that HIV. I will not hear. I will not fear that HIV. That our sister that I've been crying since two weeks ago because you went to the doctor and they said, Oh, that's the HIV in you. You have been crying. You have been crying. But from the office of Jesus, I prophesy you can seek healing. You can seek healing. Yakanda Rababa. 
Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. This life, this life. Jesus will not pass me by. Jesus, I will not leave you unless you bless me. Unless you heal me. Yes, my Lord. Come and change my situation. Come and change my situation. You change this. The situation of Haga. The situation of this man. Come and change my own. Jesus. Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Glory, ba, ba, ba. Father, I've tried to change myself. I have changed my diet. Yet I could not change the situation. I've tried to change the process in me. Yet I could not change the situation. Father, come and change me. Papa, come and change me. Come and help me. Jesus. Jesus. Make me the temple of God. Make me your temple. Make me your temple. Make me your temple. My mother, my father. I want to be your temple. Your temple on earth. Your temple on earth. Your temple on earth. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray now. Jesus. 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 I want to be your temple. I want to be your temple. Yes, my Lord. Pray now, pray now, pray now. I want to be your temple. Your temple on earth. Do you want to be a temple of Jesus? As the water. The water is flowing. Let I want to make you the temple of God. Jesus. The Bible says, My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. And Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 36 says, And I will give you a new heart, a new spirit. I will put within you a new heart, a new heart, a new spirit. Oh, and I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart, a heart of flesh. Have you heard it now? Have you heard it now? Have you heard it now? There is a plan. For God to do a heart transplant in the name of Jesus. Maybe what is required in your life is a blood transfusion. Let the Lord do it now. Let him touch you now. Let him touch you now. Blood transfusion. Blood transfusion. From Jesus to your body. From Jesus to your body. From Jesus to your body. Holy Baba Baba Baba. Jesus. Every weakness in you. Let God touch you. Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Let those who are having bone problem, those who are having bone problem, those who cannot walk in, those who cannot walk well, those who are limping, let the power of Jesus, the living water, touch you, touch you, touch you, touch you, touch you. The wind of power, the river is flowing. 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 Ya ra ba 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 ba. O makanda ra ba sheke ba. Ye kende ri ba ba sheke ra ba. The living water. The living water is coming to you. I command that bone to begin to strengthen up. Let that bone strengthen up. Let that bone strengthen up from the altar of Jesus. Let that bone strengthen up beyond the healing Jesus. From the Eucharistic Jesus. From the healing Lord. From the Eucharistic Lord. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Oh, Rabakandaya. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Power is flowing, power is flowing, power is flowing. Receive the breath of power, receive the breath of power. Let life begin to come into you now. Let life begin to come upon you now. Yes, 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 yes. The Lord is going about doing good now. He's touching you. He's touching you. He's touching you. He's touching you. Power! Ha! ha. Touch. 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 Touch your people. 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 Touch your people! Touch your people! Ura Baba Kandaya! Jesus! 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 Dwell in me! 
dwell in me, dwell in me, fill my heart with your power, fill my heart with the Holy Spirit, fill my life with the Holy Spirit, give me your supernatural well of salvation, power, yes, 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 oh, so many people are receiving healing now, Many people are receiving healing now. Oh, Makandara Bashukia. Yakandara Babashukia. Power. Power. Oh, even the wind is charged. The air is charged with the healing. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe that power in. The air there. That air you are taking in is saturated due to healing. Take it. Take it. Inhale it. Inhale it. Inhale it again. Ah, breathe out. We can't baba. Receive it again. Inhale it in again. The Holy Ghost power is taking it. Take it in. Take it in. Take it in again. Again. Take it. Take it. Hmm. Jesus. Jesus. Uri Baba Kandaya Bashikia. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. I see somebody lying down, but that person is standing up right now. That person is standing up right now. That person is standing up right now. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Begin to give me a wave of friend. Begin to give me a wave of friend. Begin to give me a wave of friend. Yarababa Shekia. Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. Yes, Lord. That our sister that we're having a case tomorrow, that Michigan State Board of Nursing, that case you have with them on 30th of January, oh, we hand it over to the river of life. Let that river take over the case. The river of life, the river of life, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> ah, I can feel in my spirit that river, for a reason I cannot understand. Is flowing to Ohio now. Is flowing to Ohio now. Oh, Father, I don't know who you are going to visit, but I know it's for a purpose. Heal them. Heal that person. Heal them now. Touch them. Touch them. Raya Baba. Jesus. Yekendere Baba Shere Bakandaya. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. Jesus. That person that will be having a knee replacement surgery tomorrow, let the river of life flow into that knee Aha. and take over that situation right now. Receive the healing power of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. The power flowing, the power flowing, the power flowing, the power flowing, the power flowing. Oh, Rabba Kandaya Bashika. Jesus, 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 mm. Jesus, yes, Lord, Jesus, Jesus, Yakanda Rabba, yes, Lord, oh, that our sister that is having accommodation problem, you have been asked to leave the house tonight, this night, you don't know where to go to, oh, I am asking Jesus to make a way for you, as God took care of the situation of Hagar and Ishmael, let him take care of that your situation. In that of dissolution, I declare solution. As God brought solution to Hagar in the desert, I pray that in this situation, that you shall come out. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. That your job interview on Tuesday, I declare solution to it. The river of life is going there now to answer you. Oh, my Shandaraba. I cancel every spirit I want to render you homeless. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Yakandaraba. 
In the time of Hagar, she was rendered homeless from the house of Abraham. But now, God answered Hagar and gave her shelter. I pray that God will God do for you. In the name of Jesus. Ah, Jesus. You carry Papa. Mm. Please, Papa, people, be in prayer, be in prayer, be in prayer. Great is happening now. Great is happening now. Great is happening now. Great is happening now. Uri Baba Shere Makandaya. The power is moving. The power is moving. The power is moving. Yes, Lord. That our sister, that the daughter, we're having an entrance exam tomorrow. La Kandara Bashik. Let that living water, that living water touch you, touch. And take all that entrance exam and gratitude success. That our sister, whose son is having a working problem, is not that your son is not working where I've been throwing off this morning. Ah, the living water is flowing now to restore him. Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Every person who today is their birthday, let the river of life, the river of life, flow to you and give you good news and give you a blessed birthday. Ah, oh, I wish you would see what is happening. I wish you see what is happening. I wish you see what is happening. I wish you see what is happening. In the name of Jesus, we feel that healing power is coming from the living water. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yakanda Rabashika. Jesus, Jesus. All the persons that people are having job interview, I hand you over to the living water. The living water is touching you, touching you. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, people that are taking exam, but every time the exam is about to take place, the enemy will come and bring an evil hand upon them, and they will go blank, and they will not remember anything again. I am commanding such evil hand to melt, to melt, to melt, to melt, to melt, like candle before a fire, like wax before a fire. We makanda rababa shekia. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ya rababa 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 shekia. Power is flowing. Power is flowing. Be in the mood of prayer. Things are happening that you can't understand now. Yes. Mm. Jesus. Ah, I see a balloon. I see a balloon. Written testimony. A balloon floating in the air. Written testimony. The voice is Lord is saying tonight. I am I am giving my people a bonanza. A bonanza of testimonies. A bonanza of testimonies. That balloon is floating in the air. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Ah. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Mm. The wind is blowing, the wind is blowing, the wind is blowing, the wind is blowing, the wind is blowing. Oh, Kandaraba Shekia. Yes, 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 yes. Yuri Baba ya kanda ra Baba yeke rima shiri makanda ya power 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 it's coming to you it's coming to you it's coming to you ready get ready get ready receive the anointing receive the anointing Yuri Baba kiri yeke makanda Yuri Baba Jesus Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just begin to thank Him. 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 Begin to thank Him for the great things He has done. Begin to thank Him. Begin to thank Him. Yes, yes, yes. Thank him, thank him. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It is done. It is done. Don't begin to thank him. It is done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Father. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We call the prayers of this night, Lord of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. I cover your testimonies, your blessings that you have harvested tonight. We're soaking the blood of Jesus. Amen and amen.